Cause I'm a peace They say they want peace They say they want peace So we gon' bring peace We gon' bring peace Never seen defeat They say they want peace Cause we be peace Cause we be Cause I'm a peace They say they want peace Yeah So we gon' bring peace So I'm a bring peace Living life on these streets Living life on these streets Now you know how that What you gotta do? Burn the church to the ground if you have to. I got a meeting I gotta attend to. Right. You know who I work for? Yeah. What? My son? Mm. <laughs> My son. When you gonna sign them papers, man? Everybody cooperating except you. Yeah, preach, you better come up with them papers before you come up missing. Man, I don't care. We don't leave no witnesses. <laughs> See, don't you just gave me the problem. Hey boss, how are you doing? You needed to see me. What do you think? I'm in a cage. The question is revenge. Peacemakers, I want them all. Mm. What do you have in mind? Should I call Chang? No, that's too easy of a death. I've got something much more sinister. The... Shh. There's ears everywhere in here. Call my best cleaners.
Yeah. Plan night night is a go. Today. Hello? Hey, is this Memphis? Uh-huh. Yeah, I got a job for you. Okay, I got you. I'm on top of it, boss, I understand. The doors of the church are now open. If you are seeking a church home, whether through baptism or through Christian experience. We will have a minister reach out to you so that you can further your walk with the Lord. Thank you for joining us today. I know a lot of you are here virtually, and when I want to say God bless you because we couldn't do this without you. And for the ones that showed up in person, God bless you. And I want to thank you for socially distancing and for being able to uh, weather what's going out here in the world. Y'all have a great day. God bless you. You guys have a blessed day. Excuse me, Pastor. Yes, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? Absolutely, absolutely. Have a seat, have a seat. Oh, oh I'm getting old now. <laughs> And you too, you have a blessed day, and I appreciate your help today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So how can I help you, sir? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about my brother. Okay. You know, he's a pastor, and, uh, you know, listening to your sermon today, he's kind of struggling with trying to compare himself to, you know, some of the larger churches. And um, I just wanted to know if you could pray for him. Absolutely. You know, that's something that a lot of ministers struggle with because we do want to grow and increase our territory. And that is our prayer. But we have to do it when God has us prepared for that. And that's the that's the advice that I would tell you to tell your brother. And I definitely will keep you in our prayers because brothers in the ministry have to stick together. Yes, and we have to guide each other during these hard times because during the pandemic, it's been a lot of waning of members coming to church physically right and his his membership has decreased significantly and mm -hmm. i think that's really kind of you know getting to him right and i've done everything i could so i'm just kind of coming to you because of the sermon you preached i just felt like maybe you had a word or something to give absolutely all right well good brother i would definitely keep you in my prayers and uh and i appreciate you coming to see me thank you Pastor. yes sir thank you. How you doing, Preach? Doing all right. How you doing, son? May I help you? Got a problem. Oh, do you need prayer? Nah, I'm not kind of like this. I think I'm about to ask, see for forgiveness for what I'm about to do. Um, is there a reason that you can't just not do whatever it is that's going to cause you to sin? See, Preach, it don't work like this. I get paid too well to be sentimental. Hmm. A mutual friend, Supreme, since his regard. Supreme? Supreme. Oh, I never miss. You as good as they say you is, preacher. Who, who raised you? How dare you defile the church? Oh, preacher, you ain't gonna save my soul. I'm gonna take yours. What? What is going on? Boss, I gotta catch him again. What? What do you mean you missed the hit? What am I paying you for? <laughs> Don't miss it again. Man, this dude need to come on Supreme so he can be out here every day. It's hot.
Hey, there you go, right there. Come on, man, let's go, let's go. Hey, ain't you Joe? Who's that? Supreme got a message for you. Look, kid, I'm not the one to be playing with. Kid? Look, man, this ain't what you want to do. Get up! Get him! What I told you don't play with me. believe they shot me. <laughs> I can't believe they did this to me. Well, they've been here acting crazy like that. It's been well, preacher. Doing, sister? What's going on? I can't believe they shot me. Shot you? They 
actually shot me. They came after you too? Thought I was gone. They try to stab me also, preacher. You know, they came in here and I thought a young man was seeking forgiveness and to try to find God, and they attacked me too. We really need to stay vigilant, stay on our P's and Q's at this point, because it's getting crazy out here. I agree, preacher. Are you doing all right? Are you okay? Preacher, you should say a prayer for him. Absolutely. We may bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we need to pray for protection for the peacemakers. You incompetent fool. You troglodyte. You can't do anything right. Don't touch me. You put yourself in here, not me. You're right. I can see that, you fool. Supreme. You left me in charge. Now, I tried things your way. Now let me do my job. Besides, you have to trust me. I don't trust my own mama. Don't let me down. <laughs> I am so hungry, guys. We need some of that soul food. Let's go get some, Preach. I'm hungry myself. All right, well, I can ride with you? Yeah, come on, let's go. All right. Mm, soul food sounds good. I know somebody put their foot in something. <laughs> Boxer at a secure location. What do you want me to do? <sighs> Still not answering. What are you doing? Answer the phone. Again, 
doesn't like him. What's going on? Preach. Have you heard from Joe? I haven't. I've been trying to reach him all day. Do you think something's wrong? I'm worried about him. It's not like him to not respond. You know, you're right. You're right. I, uh, huh. I think everything will be all right, you know, but. You have a problem on your hand. What's going There's on? There's a price on your head. Okay. Um, this is my partner. And, um, actually, we're just going to show you who we've been, who we've all been dealing with. Since he likes to fight so much, sell him to that fight promoter Reno. Cheap. Done. But we are having trouble locating the preacher and the girl. I want them all. Let me go. I'm not the one to be played with. Joe, do you think he's still alive? Listen, we have to have faith, okay? We will find Joe. Okay, okay. Please tell me you have some information. We're still trying to locate him. Our sources have a few leads, but nothing solid. We are working on it. We will find him. We will find him. Gotta get some, gotta have some, gotta get some, gotta have some, gotta get some, gotta have some. Gotta get don't you know, don't you know, we out the door.
Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for your main event of the evening? Introducing first, the undisputed, never beaten, the undisputed champion, the best of the best, the king of the motherland, Congo! Introducing his opponent. <laughs> the rookies of rookies. Maybe the next victim. Y'all make some noise for Joe, the peacemaker. <laughs> this kid's about to die.
done with the fight. You bring me some competition, do you hear me? Matter of fact, man, hold on, cuz. I see him now. Preach, my car is filthy. Do you mind if I stop at the car wash? You know, I don't care, girl. I'm just riding. You know, I can't see where we're going anyway. <laughs>
All right, we have a meeting with the city council this weekend. I need everyone on board. We need these votes. They're discussing the wealth distribution in our city. So play nice. I had to shut down the cannabis store and uh, we run the trucks full time, so we're doing moving the truck in full time. Uh, but, but I have no complaints. I had a little problem on my side, man. I had some little buses trying to come through the shortstop. So I had to handle a couple things, you know what I mean? I ain't having it. Ain't nothing coming out there where I live at without going through me. Mm. Who anybody have any idea what this Who called this meeting? What are we here for? I I'm in charge now. Anybody have a problem with a woman telling them what to do? Speak now! You can holler for man. <laughs> who put you in charge? Yeah, who put you in charge? Look, I know some of you may have a problem with a woman telling you what to do, but it's a new day. A woman can't do nothing but make some eggs for me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're either going to stay down or lay down. What you enjoy? Yeah. Oh man, you know who I am? Good. On the east side, our interest have jumped 25 percent since we raised the interest on the loan. We have acquired two new businesses from the Asians, one from the Koreans, and two from the so-called Black, which are all washing their dirty money and making it clean. And see, I, where I'm at, I know them. Everything will be good as long as they stop the shortstop. I already had to handle some a few times. So as long as that's over with, people know they got to come through me, everything going to be straight. You hear me? You see that? From now on, I'm the HWIC. And for some, well, behind my back. I may be the HBIC, but either way, respect is either going to be given or taken. Now, on to the business of making money. Dismissed. I'm so glad we can continue our little business arrangement even after the unfortunate situation with Supreme. Well, the show must go on. Has everything been arranged? Yes. Two million now and another five in the first year. Look, don't try to use any of those moves from the old trick box I hear so much about. You know me and my constituents have long arms with dirty hands, too. That is sounding more like a threat than an olive branch. <laughs> I can assure you and we are trying to keep our hands clean and our business dealings in an upright fashion. But just know that in the event, if you cross us and we got to get gangsta, and open that said trick box. And I'll make sure that you're the first. Hey man, you got my money? money? I know you got my no, money. No money. Where's the money, man? Get him, y'all. Get him. Oh, you Come know on. you got that money. No, I ain't got that money.
That's why we got to go outside of the church into these streets to reach our youth. Because they are not understanding when you say this comes from Matthew 1 and 5. They don't know what that is. They may have never picked up a Bible. You are the Bible that they are seeing for the first time. So let your light shine before men. Let your works speak for you. Hey guys, um, I wasn't expecting y'all today. I only have half of the money. Half the money? But, well, y'all know it's a recession out here. Man, don't you know drugs is recession proof? It ain't no recessions. Guess what I got? Man, you trying to get off on me? You hold that on us? I'm trying to play Man, us? what is this? No, why would I, trying to play us? Why would I do that? Man. I would never do nothing like that. Man, get over here. Get over here. Come here. Look, Stand I'm, right there. I'm gonna Stand get, right there. I'm gonna get the money. Hey, look, put your hands down. You're making me nervous. I don't like getting nervous. So show me what you got left, because I got somebody who's gonna get it out. Well, um, I um <clears throat> You I, what? I lent it out. Uh they gonna pay me back on payday. You lent it out to who? Uh man. Hey, get your story uh, together, man. <laughs> man. You know what? Come here, come here, get over get over here, get over here. Look, I'm, I'm gonna get the money. Man, put your hands down, put your hands down. Making me nervous. You're gonna get the money when? They they get paid next week. Man, you smoking my dope? Nah. Hey look, come here. Come here. Why would I smoke you smoking that stuff? Why would I smoke why would I smoke the stuff? I mm -hmm. only got half. I only got a little. Look, mm -hmm. right. since you only got half, we're gonna give you half of your birthday surprise. My birthday? It ain't my birthday. My birthday was like three months ago. Um, <coughs> hey, yo, who you let my dress to? It was just my cousin. He's still 14. Your cousin? Man, look. You got two days to come up with my money or my drugs, or you won't have to worry about a birthday coming up next year. You hear me? All right, I get it. I'm going to get the money. You sure? I'm going to have the money. Let's get up out of here. I'm about to shoot you right now.
Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. You don't know us, but we are going to be great friends and business partners. What? Who are you? Who we are, it doesn't matter. But, after checking your books and doing a little homework, you guys are making about five or six thousand dollars a month. And in the growing crime rate in this neighborhood, I figured, you know, we need protection. Why not get protection from us? All we need is to get our beats a little bit, you know, just a little bit. You know? I work hard, build my business up. Why should I give you anything except a swift kick from my boot out my front door? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't you have a little daughter who walks home alone from school every day? What's her name? Um, Marcel? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Marcel. If you touch my child, I will. You'll do what? So, like I was saying, we expect a thousand dollars at the top of every month, like clockwork. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Well, I should do business here. I'm taking this. Yeah. And clean this place up. So we haven't found Joe yet, but there's a ping on his phone, so that's good news. Now, either it's going to be a six-hour flight or an eight-hour drive tomorrow, so we need you guys to be ready at 8 o'clock in the morning. Is that all right? You that's can make fine. That, that works. You can make that okay. happen. All right. Thank you. Good evening. From News Channel 1, Roasting the World, I am your host, Jay from the A. Crime is on the rise as our neighborhood heroes, the peacemakers, seem to have disappeared. Where have they gone? Are they coming back? And will it be too late when they do? Is our community headed too far down the wrong road? Will someone else be able to step up and take the place of the peacemakers? Stay tuned as we attempt to locate our neighborhood heroes.
How you doing? Everyone's been asking about you, and we're all worried. You okay? Oh, uh, you know they got us down here, kind of, uh, you know, quarantined, and because uh, we just got off the plane not too long ago, as well as uh, kind of in protective custody. But I'm not gonna call it that because the Lord always protects us. So how's things going up there? Oh, and by the way, let the congregation know that they are in my prayers and. and Miss and we love them. Yes. Oh, man. Things are just really going bad. It's been two more church members murdered. One is missing. And things are just falling apart, man. We really could use you here. Oh, man. Mm. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mm. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully I will be back soon so that we can continue doing God's work. Yes. I understand. I'll be sure and let the congregation know. You stay safe and take care, okay? Yes, ma'am. And God bless you also, sister. Bless you too. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless my congregation. Please bless my community. Please bless this city, Lord. Please bless the peacemakers that we are able to do your will. And I know anything done in your name will be successful. And please bless Joe. And Lord, keep your arms around us all. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord.
Yes, sir. It's interesting that you you bring that up as far as education. In reality, we need both. We need we need a higher education and we need trades. Both are needed to build and instruct a society. But without the knowledge itself, neither of these things is going to help us. It's only going to help others. The first thing that a person needs is a thorough knowledge of themselves. They need to know who they are what their place in the world is. And then, once you have that foundation, then you will know who God is and what your purpose is in this life and how you can help your people. So we went, we strayed away from what we were taught by mothers and fathers. But we can always go back. Well, good brother, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. I'm going to take these tenants back with me to our community. We're going to draw something up, come back to you. Try to come back together and figure out how to push this out into our community that makes a real change. Right, 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 right. Pleasure's all mine, brother. Pleasure's all mine.
took y'all so long? What took us so long? We were looking for you everywhere. We traveled across the state line. We went to the, the bottom of the ocean and the top of the sea. Yeah. I'm so glad you're still alive. Yeah, who we? You know it's going to take more than that to take me out. Are you all right? Did they hurt you? I mean, I could use some of that healing power on my pride, but other than that, I'm going to be all right. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mona, you got my business raided. I've been doing this for 10 years. And I ain't never had a problem like this. I lost 400000 just today. Let's not mention the startup cost to find a new building to make my guests feel secure. Where is Joe? Is he dead? No, he ain't dead. He was making me too much money. Then police come in. You, uh, you know what? I was doing y'all a favor. What? <laughs> I will have your head for this. You know who I am? You threatening me? You threatening me? You know who I am? I'm Reno the Destroyer. <laughs> More like Reno the Dead. Hello? Hello? Some bad news. That guy, Joe, the feds in Reno sent you. What? I don't think you understand the seriousness of this. The guys I work for, they'll kill me. When they feel like it's time to pluck my feathers, I'm dead. Aye, aye. Don't fail me again. No, I don't think you do. Hey, I'm going to send you a text for the next address for tonight. We still got some work to do.
So what's your name, babe? Whatever you want it to be. Mm. Oh, hold on now, hold on. I like to take my time. Let me dance for you. Mm, dance for you, dear. Try something a little freaky. Really now? Mm-hmm. Mm. I want you to feel and not see. Identified hostile vehicles headed in this direction. Hostile? Yes. Let them come. I'm ready. How you gonna say you ready? We just got you back. You are not ready. You still hurt from before, Joe. Preach, I'm tired of playing. I am ready. We have a few agents here, and we have several incoming to help us. So we have to hold them back until reinforcements arrive. And we have a few containing the perimeters, and then it's just us. Listen, we're not trying to put anybody else's lives in danger. This is our fight. That's it. I'm ready. Fight together.
Cause I'm a peace They say they want peace They say they want peace So we gon' bring peace We gon' bring peace Never seen defeat They say they want peace Cause we be Cause we be Cause I'm a peace They say they want peace They slept in My God is my best friend In the gang I was blessed in North, South, East, and the West End Keep it a hundred, no less than Cause all it takes is a split second And I'm wrecking with chin checking Then it's best be respecting the reach And the preach of the reverend We step in, they creppin' I let them the lecture elect And we reppin' ejection Flexin' my section Preppin' my step and countin' my blessing my blessing. They say they won't be so we gon' bring peace. So we gon' bring peace. Never seeing defeat. Never seeing defeat. Cause we believe. Cause I'm a peace. They say they want peace. They say they want peace. So we gon' bring peace. Living life on these streets. Living life on these streets. Now you know how that be. Now you know how that be. Cause we the peacemaker. What would happen if I stopped all the personages? And if I stop my description from matching? Would I be hitting the surface or would I barely be scratching? If it wasn't no gangs, would they still get it cracking? What would happen if the world was full of peace? Will there still be a need for the streets? What would happen if I head to the corners, then fed the homeless? Would I still get love from the homeless? What would happen if I stopped them from killing us in the streets? Will I get done like Dr. King if I bought peace? What would happen if I stopped them from killing us in the streets? Will I get done like Dr. King if I bought peace? They say they want peace. They say they want peace. So we gon' bring peace. So we gon' bring peace. Never seeing defeat. Never seeing defeat. Cause we need peace. Cause I'm a peace maker. So we gon' bring peace. So we gon' bring peace. Living life on these streets. Cause we a peacemaker Yeah So we gon' bring peace So we gon' bring peace Never see and defeat Never see and defeat Cause we be Cause we be Cause I'm a peacemaker They say they want peace So we gon' bring peace So I'ma bring peace Living life on these streets Living life on these streets Now you know how that be Now you know how that be Cause we a peacemaker Cause I'm a peacemaker. Cause I'm a Channel 1, Roasting the World. 
I am your host, Jay from the A, and today we have a special guest from our neighborhood hero, the Peacemakers. Welcome. So, can you tell us a little bit about what your role in our community? Um, yes, I'm a preacher at um, Second Avenue uh, Baptist Church, and um, my role is to save souls. My role in the community also is to take back our community one street at a time. Far too long have we been dealing with this violence, these drugs, this gentrification, and now it is time for us to take back our community. And as a man that is blind, I can still see what's happening out here. We need to start divesting into the things that are not serving us and investing into the things that are serving us. And the only way that we can be successful is if you too become a peacemaker. They say they want peace. So we're going to bring peace. So we're going to bring peace. Never see a defeat. Never see a defeat. Because we believe. Because I'm a peacemaker. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to bring peace. Life on these streets, living life on these streets. Now you know how that feels. Now you know how that feels. Cause we a peacemaker. Yeah. So we gon' bring peace. So we gon' bring peace. Never see a defeat. Never see a defeat. Cause we believe. Cause we believe. Cause I'm a peacemaker. They say they want peace. So we gon' bring peace. So we gon' bring peace. Never see a Living life on these streets. Now you know how that be. Now you know how that be. Yes, I'm a peacemaker. Yes, I'm a peacemaker. Yes, I'm a peacemaker. Know how that be. Living these streets. They say they want peace, so I'm gonna bring peace. Living these streets. Living life on these streets. Cause I'm a peacemaker. Cause I'm a peacemaker. Cause I'm a peacemaker.